following heavy rains that flooded parts of the second Takrade metropolis and killed five members of his family after their building collapsed yesterday, the Western Regional Minister, Kobnochiri Dakumensa, has directed various sub-metros in the metropolis to immediately find solutions to engineering defects that contributed to the flooding. Now, during a visit to the bereaved family, he also called for attitudinal change among residents. City News' Akwesi Ej Enim has more from Takaradi. <laughs> This is the home of the Isson family at Injesia, a coastal community in Second D, where the Western Regional Minister and his entourage met a sorrowful atmosphere. Four siblings and a grandchild, all aged between 1 and 18 years, were killed as one of their rooms collapsed following yesterday's downpour, which started from morning till dawn. An aunt to the deceased persons, Araba Isson, who witnessed the incident which happened after 8 p.m. yesterday, briefed the minister on how it all happened. Money <laughs> hospital <laughs> The grieving mother of the deceased siblings, who was in another family house in Sekendi when it happened, had this to say. What about mention was Sekendi? Now, me and when they had been reading what's over with me, me and one million depot was our over with you, one a hand or so. I call a word, and I'm a smart and shoot that so when I'm a cafe, and bed if you are a walker car. My cafe on you, on your four car on you, and a bay. My family's son can't have a phone in the trunk, so the one up, my channel phone me in my face. My friend, I lost a man, Miss Yes, my son is Miss O'Connor, why did you lose a man black? And then they will go for me, well, the car won't be a place that you do when you win your life. The Western Regional Minister, Kobina Ochidaku, overwhelmed by the incident, encouraged the family to be strong and promised to support with reconstruction of the building. Last Friday's close to 12 hour downpour had a widespread impact on residential structures, hospitals, banks, shops, and markets. In Second D, GCB's banking hall was totally flooded, and traders whose shops got flooded at the Second D market were seen cleaning their wares they could salvage. Sadly, the only chip center which served the Bacardo community in Second D was also not spared. Porsche a champon told me they can't operate anytime soon. Um, this place was flooded. It started yesterday around 4. Lost. We've lost everything, such as our um, skill, weighing skills, even our fridge that we store our vaccines inside. It has spoiled. And the vaccines that we used to, and vaccine the children to, everything has gone. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean everything, including our weighing cards, our standing skill, our weighing skill, our vaccines, our reports. Our um, mosquito net, everything. Right now, we have ended the month, and we need to write reports. And with that, our, the report writing will be something else. The Western Regional Minister, who is also the MP for Takrade, also inspected the Takrade market where some shops were affected, as well as COVID at Efekuma and Ayedu, both suburbs of Takrade. He advised residents to check their attitudes while also asked the sub-metros to evaluate their engineering works. We've seen some disasters. Um, we've seen death. And we've seen um, a lot of uh, rubbish. Um, I believe that not until we change our attitude towards dumping of refuse, littering, and disposal, improper disposal of waste, um, I bet this issue will continue to reoccur. And I've taken a decision that 
if it happens next year, I won't visit. Same area. Yes, I won't visit the same area because we've told them in those areas that they need to change their attitude. Um, we've seen other areas that we believe there are also engineering issues, and the engineers are poised to deliver on those ones as quickly. I mean, they'll start with temporary solutions from tomorrow and then try and look for permanent solutions for the other ones. Um, it's, it's, it's in bad taste because yesterday it rained a lot, and some places. Those who have done their work well, in fact, we went to the markets. Some places were well cleaned and they didn't have uh, flats. Those that were not well cleaned had flats. I, I won't mention them, but I, I believe that you saw it. And in some of the market areas, the market women were complaining about their own colleagues for disposing of waste badly in the market. So I believe that you as journalists should skew the conversation towards the issue about the disposal of our waste. If you don't skew the conversation, uh, then make it as government as usual, government after government. We will solve the problem. Abdul Ghani Mohammed, who is the Western Region Admiral Coordinator, had this to say about the flood situation. Um, currently, as I'm speaking, um, we have identified the areas. The engineers are here. We did um, identification of flood prone areas and sent them to all the uh, MMDAs just to take measures and work on them because we don't have the resources. So I think um, that is the issue. And Yesterday's devastating rainfall also interrupted the operations of the Takradi PDS substation for well over 15 hours, putting the metropolis in total darkness as it rained. So for now, the Takradi substation of the PDS is operational after the flooded portion started receding around 9.30 a.m. this morning. For now, nobody can tell when the rains will come again since we are actually in June, which is a rainfall season for City News, I am a PCAJ named Takradi.